Hey guys, Beast here, coming back with another tutorial. It's another hit that I've done over here in the Breaking Balls Task Force, and uh, it was using a 5 5 account. So we're going to go through a hot landing Waterloo. Uh, it's a bit of a fun hit to do. There's a few different ways of hitting Waterloo, we'll just talk through them now. So the standard magic path is where you gather just underneath the cell and then you'll come up into this spot here and straight up the top that's just a standard one you only just flag drop underneath the cell um, there is a newer path with bullet where you come in underneath this cell and then you go up to where these shock mines are here and straight up underneath this bit um, I'm not a massive fan of that path but that's just my own take on it. Um, or oh, we've got this one. So where we've got the rocket launchers on landing, what we need to do is drop a boat of heavies and then that's gonna distract them. So I'll show you what I mean by that now. So we're just gonna clear these mines. So I always check these mines, see which one is higher and take that out. So it's three artillery for the clear. And then you see we're going to drop the heavies here underneath this cell and then start letting the rocket launchers fire at them just before we start dropping. So you see the, they started firing as they're going out and the rocket launchers are just going to concentrate on them and you can let your Zookas drop nicely. A little reflare and then we're going to flare up into this gap. So at this point you've already lost delay on the rockets, so you want to make sure that they're keeping under smoke. And if you've done this path a few times then you'll already know that they will split around that cell. So just make sure they're covered there. As your hero is getting to here and your girls are just getting to it, you want to be throwing your flare up top. So if you see, I've already sent that. Now we call this a magic path because we managed to miss all these mines. As you can see, you've got no right to miss this. That should be triggered, but it's not. And then it's just about getting into position. Now you will quite often have some mines behind core. There's not really much to worry about. You should be able to stay out of the range of those. And then we've got three shocks. So you're going to shock these four mortars and shock the rocket launchers down here. And then the other shock should be right on the corner between this here. And then you'll shock all of these. Now, a lot of people do think that you need to shock the mortars here as well. Um, personally, I don't tend to bother. I think you get more from putting out some critters afterwards if you really need to um, and with this using a 5.5 account obviously it uh, just leaves a little bit more GBE if you need to do that so we'll carry on with the video so just flare core and you see as I flare I'm throwing those shocks straight away and this is what I mean from the mortars they're only going to take out a couple here it's really not that much of an issue and that's how I like to deal with a hot beach on Waterloo. So this had 1.6 million on it. And obviously I'm only using seven boats. It's a really consistent hit. And it's a great alternative way of taking out Waterloo. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit us up in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. Cheers guys. Bye.